All right, we got my little helper. What are we doing, oh? Ready to go camping? All right. What are you doing right now? I'm getting You're hooking the camper up? All right. Teaching you early. All right, Mr. Noah. We just had a major change of plans. Our original plan was to head to Racket Lake in the Adirondack Mountains. Um, we were going to climb a mountain. We were gonna go out on the boat for uh, um, the rest of the day. We we're gonna do lots of fun things. Unfortunately, two things happened to change our plans. First one is what? Yeah. I'm sick and I'm fever. Well, yeah, he got a little bit sick. We were gonna take him along anyway, but um, Sheila, uh, who is Dave's uh, spouse, uh, got sick and was puking and had a migraine um, and they had horrible rain last night and there's also rain in the forecast for tomorrow um, so with all of that information uh, they are coming home tonight they decided not to stay up there that leaves us without a boat that also leaves us up without our friends um, which was the whole reason we were going so we're going to change our plans and initially this weekend we had planned to go to uh, a field fest, um, they're calling it, that Mr. Navi and Miss Kate are putting on um, over at their, their property. So we're just gonna go uh, see what this is all about. Hopefully they still got a spot for us. Please. Um, and uh, we'll make the best of it, right? All right, let's do it. Ask them. That's on your bucket list, isn't it? Yep. That is cool, isn't it? Can I do that? All right, come here. What do you got? A sparkler? You do a circle. Do a circle. Make it like this. Draw it around. Yeah, there you go. No, it's venison. Get off of there, Steve. <laughs> I think I won. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that is good. Because she watches the vlog. Alright, can you run over to the camper and grab a few more plates, please? Yeah. Thank you. Well, actually not last night, but uh, the night before last night, and we got a whole slippery runway, um, 
So, Nab went out this morning and got a load of gravel to spread. Um, but now the dump truck won't make it out and keeps spinning. So, we can work on that now. Luckily, uh, this is what Nabby does for a living, is puts in driveways, so uh, he knows what he's doing. He's got all the supplies, just ran down to the shop, grabbed the dump truck to get the gravel, and then uh, had the skids through here already. So, won't be long before we get the whole driveway done and are able to get the dump truck out. See if we make it. What do you think? Is he gonna make it? Yeah, you think so? Here we go. We just had the first drone crash. I was trying to follow the four-wheeler and the uh, rate or the reaper, but I didn't have line of sight and uh, was just going sideways and ran right into a pine tree. So that kind of sucked. But we found it and it is in good working condition. We got lucky; nothing happens. So let's continue with the fun.
Oh man, not a good day. Crash number two with the drone. Uh, this time it was not good. Uh, we were going full speed following the Reaper, um, trying to keep up with it. And what happened is we kept going up in altitude as far as the, the Reaper, um, up the road. And um, so I was climbing with the drone as well, but also trying to keep up. So I was going full speed forward and tried to climb to go up over some trees and got an error message that said max rotor speed uh, reached so it wouldn't go any faster and so you can't go full speed forward and at least on sport mode when we're going you know 40 plus miles an hour and climb at the same time it won't let you so tried to climb up over a pine tree didn't make it um, luckily I got the DJI care and hopefully they'll take care of it for me but uh, I have no idea what that process looks like or how long it takes, but I have a feeling that we probably are going to be without a drone for uh, the next couple of trips, um, but we'll see how they do with that. Anyway, not cool, um, but it is what it is. That was my own my own fault. I should have should have been watching it better and, and um, should have just let off the the forward button so I didn't hit the drone instead of trying to climb over it on time before I got to it. Anyway, um, back to it. The luck continues. It's not even pluggable. We tried some rubber cement. It's right here. That was bad. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, uh, bad day for poison gadgets. But I guess that also means that we're having fun. Kids have been non stop riding four wheelers and tractors and rangers. They love toys, big boy toys, as much as we do. So the only thing, if the slot, if the skies open up, I feel like you want to find the helmets. That would be the only thing. You could say. You're good. You're good. Like a clown car. Boys being boys. Mm -hmm. Rain doesn't stop them. Nope. Like shower too. They all need it. Yeah, absolutely, you're right. They are dirty. Natalie has like a big lock of mud in her ear. That's like literally. Ava.
Oh, buddy. Wow, cool. Wait for your feet. Stay away from people, Owen. Good night last night. Boys slept well. Plan for today. Um, kind of hang out. Like I was saying yesterday, or almost two days ago. Um, I'm only about 10, 15 minutes away from home, so it's gonna be not too bad going home. Um, so we'll hang out for a bit and let the boys enjoy the company of all the other kids. However, um, it rained pretty good last night again, and so I think that uh, getting the camper up that hill is going to be a bit of a challenge, so we'll see how that goes, and I don't want to delay that too long um, in case it turns into a major ordeal. Um, so we'll let them play. They're still sleeping, um, but we'll let them sleep. When they wake up, they can play while I pack up and uh, we'll see how it goes. And I forgot to mention, um, Emily is going on a wine tour this morning or later today for a bachelorette party. So I get to do it solo. Did the tooth fairy come last night? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What'd she bring? A dollar and a quarter. A dollar and a quarter and then your brother had his tooth off yeah, uh, yesterday too, right? Yeah. So we had double tooth fairy duties. Yeah. Was she able to find us in the camper? Yeah. And how much did they bring your brother? $1. Yeah. Gotcha. Did somebody come last night? Yes. Who? Oh. A tooth fairy. A tooth fairy? What'd you bring? A dollar and a quarter. A dollar and a quarter? Nice. Right, so we're hooked up, ready to go. Uh, Nabby's up there scraping the driveway a little bit, um, making sure the gravel spread out and it's roughed up. Um, the ground is pretty wet. I just had to use my uh, bottle jack to get Nick's camper propped up enough to be able to get his jack out from underneath because the block sank um, while it was there and it just kind of settled. So even when it was all the way up, it wasn't enough to get, get the block out from underneath. Or, yeah, when it was raised all the way up, it still wasn't high enough. So, jacked it up a little, got it out. Now it's fixing the road, and we'll give it a go. Ready to go. Nick's gonna give it a go first. We'll see how he does. Here he comes, stay there. With some serious speed Get up on the pavement. Nice job, Nick. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I need to charger, Daddy. Need charger. Need charger. Till next time. Hey. Bye, guys. Bye. Here we go.
gentlemen. Just finished another camping trip, and it was way different than we initially intended, right? Where did we, what, did, what was different about it? Uh, we were originally going to Rocket Lake, and now we didn't. Yep, we were originally going to Rocket Lake. Turned out, uh, Dave Underwood on the way home um, ended up having a, a bearing blow on his uh, boat trailer, too. So, um, it was all around not a good trip for him, but it ended up being a pretty good trip for us, right? You guys have fun? Yeah. Are you glad, glad we uh, did what we did? Yeah. Yeah, good alternative? Yeah. All right, I think we should still try that Racket Lake trip sometime. Uh, I don't know if we have time for this year, but I think we should try it again sometime. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, and then what do you think about Field Fest next year? You want to do this again? Yeah.